can lemurs kill you? Um, I mean, unless they all kind of came at you with a knife. <laughs> Yeah, I'm here to talk to you about the most searched questions about lemurs. Can lemurs kill you? Um, I mean, depends on the lemur. If it's ringtail lemurs, I don't know if they'd ever be able to kill you. Um, but if they didn't like you, they could definitely do you some damage um, and they wouldn't be very happy about it. Um, whether they kill you, unless they all kind of came at you with a knife, <laughs> like a little group of them. I don't think you could, no. <laughs> Do lemurs lay eggs? No, they don't. They give birth to live young. They do not give birth to eggs. Sorry to disappoint. No, nope. they're mammals uh, and they give birth to live young. So no, we don't, we don't come in one day and find them, you know, on a little nest of eggs <laughs> that hatch out with little baby lemurs. That'd be cute, but no, it's normally a lot cuter than that. So. So do lemurs eat bananas? No, they don't eat bananas. They probably would eat a banana if you gave them a banana. It would be their favourite thing ever, I'm sure. Um, but generally we do try and restrict the amount of bananas that we do give uh, primates um, just because the bananas that we eat have a lot more sugar in them than the bananas that you might find out in the wild. Um, so yes, a lemur would love to eat a banana, I'm sure, um, but we don't give them the bananas. No. Uh, so are lemurs friendly? Um, lemurs are friendly, but they are also wild animals. We're not supposed to really be around them all that much. Um, you know, they're not recommended as an animal to keep as good company and you have to respect um, their own space and their territory and the fact that they are wild animals. How do lemurs communicate? Um, so they communicate through loads of different ways. Um, they communicate through scent, um, through their different calls. Um, they communicate through even their tails. Um, so that's a way of them being able to spot one another. Um, so they have a real diverse way of communicating with one another. So why do lemurs scent mark? Um, there's lots of different reasons for scent marking. Um, they mostly will do it to let other groups know that this is their territory. So this is where I live, this is my land, you stay away. Um, but they also do use it during mating seasons, um, particularly the males. So they'll do a thing called um, stink fighting, uh, which looks quite funny. Uh, so they will mark their tails with all of their lovely scent and they kind of flick it at one another. And it's kind of their way of being like, I am the, um, alpha male here, uh, I'm the most dominant, I'm the biggest and scariest uh, male that's here. Ah, so this is the most common question that I get asked. So why do lemurs sunbathe? Um, so much like why we sunbathe, um, because it's really nice. <laughs> um, we really enjoy the sunshine. We love to get all those lovely rays. It warms us up. Um, and that's true for, for lemurs, it's much the same really. They really enjoy the sunshine. Um, also in Madagascar, certain parts of Madagascar, it can get very cold at night. Um, so in the morning when the sun comes up, the first thing you wanna do is warm up. So it's like as soon as you get out of bed, you put your dressing gown on because you wanna keep as warm as possible. Um, and that's the same with the lemurs. So they might get up in the morning and go, oh right, sun's up, oh, lovely, keep myself nice and warm. There's too many cool things about them. They're so unique and they're so diverse. They have such cool personalities as well. You can't help but notice them, especially if you work with them for a long time, you start picking up on little things and you normally find the smaller the lemur, the more personality they do have. <laughs> I think they're very common. They're, like, they're the ones we get asked quite a lot, generally. Um, some of them are a little silly. Uh, but um, no, in general, I think it's and I think it's important that people ask these questions, um, you know, and it's important that we take them seriously, as silly as they might be, um, to try and educate one another about the animals. That's why I'm here. That's why I do what I do. I like educating people about them. I'm passionate about them. I want other people to be passionate about them. So even if it might seem like a silly question, please don't hesitate to ask. I think particularly in the most uh, more in like recent uh, years, we've become a lot more um, interested in 
the wild and the habitats and animals that live in it um, you know, because of climate change and all those kind of things. And I think it's really nice to see people wanting to find out more about these animals. I've had a passion for them from when I was quite young, but it's really nice to see people, um, you know, becoming excited about those animals as much as I am. You know, it's, it's, I like passing on that kind of information. So, yeah, I think it's really good that people are asking these kind of things. The more knowledge, the better. So, yeah. Thank you.